Hey, it's a Frank student here, and today I'm going to talk about encryption using triple DES. And a few videos ago, link up here and in the description, I created a simple program that allows me to use ASE encryption, where I use a 16 byte key to encrypt something. So let's go and done. I can then encrypt it. I get these random letters and ciphers. I can then decrypt it again using the same key. And I now have triple DES, which works a bit differently. And I am actually able, where ASE would need the 16 decimal number, I would need anything as my key for my triple DES because I am manually converting any string into some hexadecimal decimal numbers. But let's see that afterwards. So let's just go some random key. Let's just do something completely random. And let's encrypt Dan again. And I'm now able to encrypt. And what's a bit different is that when encrypting with triple DS, my output is going to be an array list of eight hexadecimal numbers. And the same way I am able to, if I remember to copy, to decrypt and get Dan back. So let's have a look at how it actually works. So if you watched my last episode where I showcased AES encryption, where I was mainly using crypto and security libraries, and this is kind of in this works in kind of the same manner. So we are using a transformation kind of which tells it which specific version of the DE SED we're using, CBC specific version and the specific pattern. We then have the algorithm, which is this DES, EDE, which just kind of mean triple DS. And I am then just simply using a message dickest, which allows me to hash some string into a byte array, where I simply just use my E, e string, and get it to byte using my dickest, using the specific instance. So we're setting the specific instance to get the exact same result when we're hashing. I then have my key bytes, where what's specific about triple DS is that we're actually using triple. We're using three times eight sets, or three, three times eight, eight sets of hexadecimal numbers. So all in all, we're going to have 24 hexadecimal, eight times three, eight to 16, 24. And what's very common, and what we're going to do is we're going to take our string and turn it into a 16 long hexadecimal array. And we're then taking the first eight hexadecimal numbers and added them to the last eight spots. So we end up with 24. And we just simply take this byte array and turn it into a secret key by using secret key spec. And again, the specific algorithm we're using. We then also have a IV parameter spec last we did last time, which is kind of like a seed so we have these a lot of different seeds to specify specifically how we're gonna be encrypting using these different byte arrays and another one here. We then use a cipher, which is the main object that does the encryption, where we first tell it which kind of encryption we're doing, so this specific one. We're then telling it it's gonna be into encryption mode. We're then gonna give it a key and our IV seed. We then have our plain text, which is taken from our input into turned into bytes. So we turn our text input into byte array. We then have our byte array changed, encrypted, where we simply do cipher our cipher object dot do final to our plain text byte array, which then encrypts it. In this case, because we're showing it with uh, work with JavaFX, I'm then turning it into a string where I just simply go through each of the bytes in my byte array and just add them to a string. And then in the end, I'll put the string. So when we encrypt, what this wall is doing, any kind of key, encrypt using triple DS, and we get this byte array. And the decryption is more or less the exact same. The main difference is that instead of doing cipher, we're setting the mode up here to cipher.encrypt, we're down here doing cipher.decrypt mode. 
and then a bit different of course because we're taking in a text string but we actually need a byte array so I am using a very simple method just go through the text string and turn it into a byte array splitting on spaces and then taking each splitted string and put it into a byte array by byte.pass byte and we then in the end just very simply again because how the decrypt works is normally taking in a byte array which would be the output of the encrypt we then decrypt by having a string then turn it into byte array doing more or less the same things we did last time the same keys and the same iv parameter spec and then of course the cipher mode is set to decrypt this time we then do do final on our byte array and then cast or change our byte array into a string so that is more or less the basics of how i am using encrypted to lds maybe we should have a quick look at the controller so inside my controller i just very simply have some text fields and in this case i have my radio buttons where whenever i encrypt i just checks if i'm having ase toggled or triple ds toggled and then depending on what has been toggled we do a different kind of encryption encrypt aes decrypt in this case or encrypt triple ds decrypt and in the same way we did decrypt so that was my version of this encryption decryption setup and of course i will leave a link down in the description to a gist profile where you can get all the source code and have a look and maybe try getting it getting it running yourself so if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe and i wish you all a wonderful day